the sooner we come to grips with the fact that this is not my struggle, it's not your struggle alone, it's our struggle. It is how we become a nation of the world, um, which is part of the marvel of this nation and frankly, the source of its, um, of its potential greatness. I think we have made our, our uneasy peace in this country, or we had, I thought, with non-discrimination laws. We never really made our peace with integration. We haven't really made our peace with living and working and playing and loving together. Um, and and that, is, uh, that is among the kinds of issues exposed by COVID, right? I mean, it, it's, there's some big hard questions in front of us. And I, and I think that um, what I am looking for and hoping for, uh, what I pray for is that this work isn't going to be viewed as, anymore as the business of one sector or one office uh, or, or, or what, that it, this, really, this work really belongs to everybody at, uh, at some um, fundamental level. I don't believe that government can or should um, try to solve every problem in everybody's life, but I think government has a role to play in helping people help themselves. Uh, I think philanthropy is enormously important in innovating around some of those solutions. And I think individuals have to, uh, I think business, um, I'll add, has uh, a key role to play in expanding in, in, in economic growth that expands the economy out to the marginalized and not just up to the well-connected. And I think individuals have to understand their role, our role um, in creating community.